Troubleshooting and maintenance operations in Kubernetes require sometimes to connect to the worker node using SSH. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to do that in AKS Azure Kubernetes Service. For that here, I have already created an AKS cluster in the Azure portal, and they have connected to my cluster using the Azure Cloud Shell, which is the command line for Azure. And you see here, I can here get my two nodes running my cluster. And now I want to SSH into one of those two nodes. First thing I need to do here is to activate the SSH extension into my VMSS. For that, I need the VMSS name and its resource group. So for the resource group, I can get that either from the Azure portal. If I go here to the uh, properties window, I can get that uh, resource group displayed into here, or I can also get it from the command line. And that's what I'm going to do here. I retrieve it into um, a variable called cluster resource group that's using the AZ AKS show, and then I'll go to query my node resource group. So now I can go to echo my uh, cluster resource group, and here the name is displayed. Then I need the name of the VM scale set itself. So again, I'll be using the AZ command line in order to query the name for my VMSS. And I can go to echo that uh, uh, scale set name. And here the name is displayed correctly here. Now I'll go to activate the extension in VMSS to do that. So for that, let's go to clear this and I'll be using again the command line to do this. Remember those commands are available on the uh, tutorial that I have showed you here on the Azure documentation. Now I'll go to set up the SSH extension in my VMSS and I'll go to copy also the SSH keys from my local machine into the different worker nodes in my Kubernetes cluster. For that, I'll be using here the AZ VMSS command line to set that extension. I'll connect to that uh, VMSS using the resource group and its name, the variables that I have uh, retrieved earlier. And then I'll go to copy the SSH keys from there. I'll go to run this command and don't worry about how long this command is because you can find that same command into the tutorial that I have showed you from the Microsoft uh, documentation. Once that runs successfully from here, I'll go to run the second command for updating the different instances in my Kubernetes cluster. So I'll go to copy this one from here. I'll put it in my first line and then so this will go to my VMSS connect to it through the cluster resource name and the scale set name and it will go to update the different uh, instances from there. Now SSH is activated into those different uh, worker nodes but we cannot connect to them directly because if you run here kube control uh, get nodes dash o wide to show the different uh, worker nodes in my cluster, we see those two worker nodes, and we see here that are they are using actually internal IP addresses. This is not uh, uh, publicly uh, exposed. So, in order to be able now to access those worker nodes, we'll be using a pod inside our cluster, and into this pod, we'll go to install SSH, and then we'll go to configure this pod to connect to the different worker nodes. So let me clear this and here I'll go to install a pod that uses the uh, Debian container uh, image. So I run it and then here I call it aks-ssh and I want to connect into this pod using the interactive mode. So from here I'm running inside the console for that uh, uh, container. By default, this Debian container doesn't have SSH installed, so I'll go to install it using the apt uh, get update and install. So I install the open SSH client, but it will take a few seconds. Once it's installed, now I want to copy the SSH keys that are used by the VMSS worker nodes, and those are the same VM, uh, SSH keys that uh, I have copied from my machine. So I'll copy those into this. Debian container. For that, I'll go into a new shell, uh, a new Azure Cloud Shell window. And from there, I'll just go to uh, run the command kubectl cp in order to copy the current SSH keys into the uh, Debian 
container that they have created earlier that have the name aks-ssh. So I'll do that. That will take just a second. Once that's done from here, now I'm sure that they have those SSH keys available inside this uh, Debian image. If I go now to LS from here, I can see the ID LSA1. Now I'll go to give it the right uh, access modes through using the ch mode command line. And then I'll be able now to connect to my AKS worker nodes through using SSH. So for that, I need their internal IP address. So I'll come back to here, run the command again, cube control, get uh, nodes dash O wide. And let's take this one, for example, 10 to to connect into it from inside my container. So I'll use SSH. Yes, I want to do this. And now I'm connected to my worker node using SSH from my local machine through the Debian container image. So with this, I have full access to my uh, worker nodes. So if I type now, let's try ls-a, for example, here I can list the files inside my uh, worker node. So that was how to get access to the AKS worker nodes using SSH for troubleshooting or maintenance operations.